More concerns have been raised over the treatment of the country's prisoners amid a corrections staffing crisis. Friends and family have written to News Hub saying it's inhumane their loved ones are spending long stretches in lockdown. News Hub's been told some inmates in Rimutaka prison have been locked in their cells for up to 28 hours at a time. Nick Truebridge has this exclusive report. Cosmo Jeffrey has done time. He knows firsthand how it feels to be locked up for hours on end. No exercise, no sunlight. I've been locked up for 24 hours and more in a day and it puts incredible pressure on the whole jail but also in the intimate confines of the people involved. News Hub understands that is the reality for some at Rimutaka Prison, where we are told some inmates have, at times, spent 28 hours straight locked in their cells. Geoffrey, a spokesman for the Howard League for Penal Reform, says that's simply not right. The United Nations says any more than 22 hours without meaningful contact is considered solitary confinement. It just creates friction which often turns to aggression, then we have violence, and before you know where you are, someone's up on a charge, and then they get more um, time added onto their sentence. In a written statement, National Commissioner Lee Marsh told News Hub inmates at Rimutaka Prison are getting their minimum one and a half hour entitlement out of their cells daily, and a number of units are running normal eight to nine hour unlock times. However, some may be let out in the morning one day and then not until the afternoon the day after. Correction says it understands the impact on prisoners and is working to reduce the length of time between exercise hours. It's locking the problem away, but it's not solving anything. And while it has room for more prisoners, staffing issues continue to plague Rimutaka. The country's network of 17 prisons is short 446 guards, but Rimutaka alone accounts for 53 of those vacancies. Even the new staff that have just started, they've sat in a job, they've only been in the job a number of weeks, and they're already leaving. Because once they hit the floor and they realise the severity of the situation, they, they decide it's not for them. Staff issues have other impacts. Rimutaka hasn't been open for family visits since last January. The prisoners are then sitting in a situation where they're not getting time out. Uh, obviously that drives frustration and angst. You're then driving the fact that they're unable to communicate with their family. But Corrections told us increased video calls are available as well as free phone calls. It hopes to resume physical family visits in the next few months. Nick Trubridge, News Hub.